Hello, 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 hello again. This this is Gem Gemmar's boy. Uh, this time we're talking about Tom Holland and, and Sophia Lillis. Well, well, do this two got that in common? It's it's, it's Spider Man. If you remember, Spider Man has a grin that she loves very much from those comics. If you know, uh, if you don't know who I'm talking about, it's Mary Jane. Yeah, Mary Jane Watson. Is it Mary Jane Watson? I'm not sure. Eh? <laughs> I forgot this story <laughs> with the cast. <laughs> Uh, okay, okay, okay. I think it's Mary J Watson. And if you know who Mary, J Mary Jane Watson is, she's brunette. Ah, <laughs> uh, the Spider-Man Spider -Man trilogy. And so, uh, why talking ab about this? If some somebody is already acting her part, part uh, I think the girl who's acting her part is the worst one to do it it's Zendaya yeah we know it's Zendaya everybody knows who she is she's from Disney Channel every kid knows her but that girl I don't like her she's, she's for more for more comedic epic effect I am I'm, I'm literally just disappointed every time I think hey she's Mary Jane Watson why why would you put as Mary, Mary Jane Watson. There's a lot, lot of girls that do it, do it. For example, my favorite one, uh, yeah, a segue. I know, it's Sophia Lillis. Sophia Lillis has been, been raking a lot of parts right, right now from 2017 to 2000. No, 2000. Well, it started with, he, with her hit movie. The one with the clown with Pennywise, and now we have her rolling as Nancy Drew in Nancy Drew and the Hidden Staircase, which is pretty good when I watch it. Also, I uh, I already uploaded it. That would be the first one. Uh, okay, and she has upcoming project two, it chapter two, which she is going to be flashbacks which I'm not going to watch it chapter 2 because Sophia would only be on flashback meaning she would only be 10 minutes screen time or maybe only 5 minutes because most of the part in chapter 2 is all adults scene and also she had a television that's sharp objects the young Camille on those if you don't know who's who she's who, what her role on that one is the girl who's a younger sister of the main character Amy Adams and she had a music video we're not going to talk about that because that music video I don't want to talk about it <laughs> okay uh, okay so why do I, I want her as Mary Jane Watson well well first reason is she is a brunette which MJ is a brunette. Second reason, she has blue eyes, which is more intriguing than Zendaya, which has black eyes or brown eyes. I'm not sure anymore. I just don't like Zendaya playing that part. Not because she is black, because her character has black hair, not black skin. That's two different part. Even though Zendaya can rake up a lot more audience it's not going to be a good one yeah you know what i'm talking about is Cindy can't really pull out the mature audience uh, adults 14 to infinite because Sophia, as we all know has lot of be lots of belts uh, uh, short movies on her hands i already watched her i kind of forgot it every time the one where he she has with his brother yeah forget it i forgotten it maybe i made summer's night dream 37 okay yeah uh, so why why 
because this her character has more depth on it she does more content on the character unlike Zendaya who just if you know what I mean uh, when she started Spider-Man Homecoming and now this is a Spider-Man 2 part from home uh, she's doing the I am silent and you can't talk to me right now that's not how Mary Jane started with Peter they were uh, kind of competing and then sudden interest because they were both on college right and then she got the kiss the upside down kiss then blah 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 we got to graduate then their boyfriend and boy girlfriend and boyfriend when they are working on their current life but in this one they're on high school so a more subtle approach is get them to talk to each other and not on an awkward way as much as possible please that's what the audience would tell you and I would agree with that because MJ is not your typical silent type smart ass girl she's the talkative and smart girl on spider-man uh, that's why she's not dead on the comics she has more content than it plus you don't have to save her so many times so she helps spider-man not bear that burden spider-man helps spider-man so why Sophia and uh, Sophia if you have ever watched her on it 37 sharp objects a Midsummer's Nights and Nancy Drew in the Hidden Staircase. I really want you to watch Nancy Drew in the Hidden Staircase. This is a accumulation of what she can do as a main character on a movie. Because she made Nancy Drew <laughs> a real person, not like a, a person who is smart, then uh, homophobic. Lit literally. There's n there's plot hole on the movie in Nancy Drew, but it's kind of great still because of the acting of Sophia on this one. Also, Tom Holland, if you know, everyone knows. Uh, she ha he has a lot of belt on his self. Uh, let's start with 2010 Ariety. His role is shorter and the impossible Lucas Bennett. How I, how I live now, which is, uh, I want I want to watch this again when I have free time and not doing YouTube content and getting. Okay, I'm getting. <laughs> okay, uh, we have in the heart of the sea. I'm not going to say the musical live because, you know, I I'm not a musical person. I don't like Peter Arts. Okay, uh, we have. Captain America Edge of Winter if you have ever watched that uh, I'm not sure about this a monster calls and the lost city of say because I haven't watched those two but I have watched the current war yeah Cumberbatch we know that guy <laughs> is apparently also on that movie if you ever see him just comment below I will shout you out because you saw him uh, that's that's most of it and the most iconizing role he did is in the heart of the sea not spider-man even now in the heart of the sea he was the deck boy the one who takes all those oil from the dead whales and his acting on that part is really great Be because you gotta remember he was a child by then on 2015 it's now 2019 that's why he's 23 23 years old right now Be he is a great character dep uh, depending on what depth his character should be in a movie and this one really got to me the in the heart of the sea maybe i'll make a podcast i'm doing i'm literally just talking about it and just po putting a picture on the video it's like a past podcast right now because 
I'm not editing anything. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I'm doing this multiple times. But yeah, thi- this movie is kind of great. You gotta, you gotta love how they talk about this stuff and not really pale on doing this. So, overall, I think Sophia Lillis or any brunette girl that can act like her and can do an in-depth part, unlike Sindeya who just is silent the whole the whole movie. I am shouting right now. I am so sorry, <laughs> but I hate her acting for MJ because MJ is not silent enough to be uh, not talkative enough. That's why Peter had had a crush on her she was not silent you would notice her on the screen unlike Sindeya who just straight up be silent <sighs> I really hate that girl <laughs> to be honest I don't like her doing that that role <laughs> okay that's that's all uh, I hope you like <laughs> what <laughs> It's it's basically uh, at the end of the video you sh- you would notice that I'm just ranting that Sophia Lilis would should do the part, not this person who. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I I really hurt hate her. Yeah, really hate her. For no reason at all. <laughs> okay, so that's all. I hope you like this. Uh, okay. Bye bye and see you tomorrow. Maybe next day, next time. Ah, yeah. And bye bye now. Thank you. Also, please watch Nancy Drew and The uh, Hidden Strikers. It's, uh, it's really great to watch. Uh, also, poor Tom Holland in the Heart of the Sea. So you know what I meant by saying these two are s- so good to- together, not Cindy. That one is not talking enough in her character as a supporting character for spider-man okay bye thank you